20th century, the railways were the reason eastern Alberta developed into what it has become today. On February 1st, 2001, the line was officially closed in the small village of Veteran, Alberta. But how does this infect the environment, and what consequences will it have? We can say that the way it used to be done is that grain was hauled by farmers in smaller vehicles and trucks to the elevator, and then it was hauled out by a diesel train. Now that has been replaced by the semi trucks hauling greater distances directly to plants from the individual farms. It would appear that nothing has been saved. In fact, you've probably got more large motors burning more fuel now than when the train ran through here. What is the history of the railways? The railway that went from the Saskatchewan border to Stettler was completed in the 1912-1913 period. In the early days, all freight for the stores, mail, everything came by train, and that's gradually been replaced by truck. How does this affect farming? Farms are larger than they have been, and they are worked by larger tractors than previous, but fewer. These decisions seem to get made for economic reasons, not for environmental reasons. Are there any positive impacts on the environment? The Sherman-McClellan Regional Water Pipeline was laid in the railway bed after the tracks had been taken uh, out. Land titles fell to the municipalities and they used it for the water pipeline, so there was no huge cost. We have the benefit of good drinking water in this country that we didn't have before.